I'm in my apartment in uh, Bangkok, and uh, you know, I thought it would be great to start a video diary, uh, just to talk about this journey and you know, uh, kind of chronicle the the whole event as I move along, making this movie called Trade of Innocence. So uh, you got to start somewhere, and I might as well start here. Uh, although I'm right into it now. We are um, only a couple of weeks away from shooting and so but things are really buzzing at the office. They're, we're doing uh, all kinds of prep work, you know, art department, wardrobe, casting, um, just locations and so that keeps me very busy day in day out. Uh, I joked with casting the other day, said, you know, I was in there, I said, well, all right, um, I, uh, Whitney is my assistant on the show, and I said, Whitney, uh, what do we got on the schedule for me to actually take a pee break? <laughs> so we just laughed. <laughs> but it was funny, but it's it's busy. But I enjoy it. I mean, this is what I was made to do. Yeah. You know, that's what I'm made to do. You know? Um yeah, a couple nights ago, uh, I had a dream, and uh, I dreamt I met my grandchildren, and I'm sure that I know that that day will come too, but uh, in a in another way, in a symbolic sort of way, I feel like this movie uh, is a grandchild. You know, you, you give birth to children, you don't know, they in turn give birth to others. But when you think about a grandchild, it's like generational, you know, it's, it's beyond you, it's beyond your direct lines. And I thought about it symbolically, I thought, I thought about the dream, I thought about this movie, and uh, I see it like a grandchild, in a way, that we're making our, our grandchild, uh, because generationally others will take a look at this that's an interesting thought you know it's a humbling thought too when you uh, when you think that even generations beyond you will uh, look at your work so uh, today I uh, kind of cleared our ske my schedule so that I could have a, a bit of a break. Um, it's a Saturday in Bangkok right now. Uh, we're working six day weeks, but um, as is today, at the, in this part of the production, it's just, you know, all of preparation and things like that. So I had one meeting scheduled for today and I had Whitney clear the table on that so that I could have a day just to relax and reflect and think about things um, without being asked what color pants, what color shoes, what color shirt, <laughs> um, who would this person wear. I mean it's all cool stuff, you know, because you, you think about the flow of the movie and you think about where a character is and how they are. Uh, you know what's happening in the scene and you want to give the actors as much support as possible and uh, allow the audience to be moved along even you know in a, in a subtext sort of way subliminal way uh, with the story so all that is real good I, I enjoy it I really do it's just a matter of uh, taking some time for yourself too and so Today was a quiet day, and I wanted to spend some time just uh, doing that. However, turns out I got an email from my line producer, and I do need to go into the office. So that's next up on the agenda. We'll go and uh, I do need to talk about some visual effects and art de art department. We had a big meeting with the art department yesterday, and we come to a great consensus on everything and how we were going to achieve it. And now. You know, I, I have to bring the line producer on side, uh, or I have to go on his side. Um, but, you know, we've 
the way I look at it, uh, the screenplay has kind of been laid out and we've been moving towards this goal for a while now. So, uh, with God's help, we'll, I know, well, I know we're going to achieve it. That's for sure. I know that. <laughs>